Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel of Fans Dynamics Journey. In today's video, we will be exploring the product catalog feature in Dynamics 365 sales. We will break down each component including unit groups, product, product families, product bundles, price lists and discount lists. So whether you are new to Dynamics 365 or looking to enhance your existing skills, this video will provide a complete walkthrough of creating and maintaining the product catalog from scratch. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Let's start by exploring what a product catalog is. A product catalog is a collection of products and services that an organization sells and provides to customers. The product catalog supports sales related tables like opportunities, orders, and invoices. It can also be used for service areas like cases and work orders in Dynamics 365 for field service. The product catalog consists of four components. Let's discuss each with an example. Let's start with unit group. It defines the units of measure that the products or services are sold in. For example, fruits can either be sold in kgs or pound or they can be sold individually. Moving to products. A product represents the type of product that a company might keep in inventory or services provided to customers. Let's consider an example of an electronic store having various products in stock, including laptops, phones, and accessories. Priceless is a set of prices that are charged for products and services under specific circumstances. For example, a fitness center has a different price list based on membership tiers and season. Lastly, we have discount list, which lets organization offer products or services at different prices, depending on the quantity bought. A wholesale inventory supplier offer bulk discount based on purchase quantity. For example, purchasing 50 notebooks costs $1.50 each, while purchasing 200 notebooks bring the price down to $1.20 each. Let's consider this scenario. There is a company ABC Electronics that sells laptop and accessories in various units based on packaging requirements. They have the following requirements with regards to product catalog. Unit group, laptop can either be sold individually or in a batch of five. They have three different products, that is laptops, HDMI cable, and wireless mouse. They have a product family called as computer families, which includes laptop, desktop PCs, and tablets. They also have product bundles, which include laptop plus HDMI cable and wireless mouse. They have a price list that is named as retail laptop accessories. And they also have a discount list called as laptop discounts. Now, let's try to replicate this scenario in our Dynamics 365 Sales Hub application. Now we are in our Sales Hub application and let's start by creating unit groups first as this will be needed while creating products. So let's go to application settings and if we scroll down under product catalogs, let's select unit groups. And from the command bar, click on new. Let's give it a name say laptop unit we need to provide the primary unit which usually represents a single quantity of the item that's being sold so let's keep it to each click on ok and let's create another unit so let's select related and click on units and new unit And over here, let's say batch. As per our scenario, the company was selling the laptop either individually or in a batch of five. So let's change the quality quantity to five and the base unit as each. And then save and close. Now we have created two units that it each will be used when a laptop is sold individually and the batch when we will be used when the left five laptops are sold together. We learned how to create unit groups. Now let's move over to creating products. 
As per our scenario, we need to create three products that is laptop, HDMI cable and wireless mouse. So let's go to the sitemap and select families and products. And from the command bar select add products. Let's create our first product that is laptop. Product ID can be We can specify the parent of this product and the dates as well that is valid from and valid to a description of the product and the unit go group that we already created top unit and the default unit will be each right now we haven't created a price list so once the price list is created we can associate it associate the price list with this particular product let's change it to two and click on save right now the product is in draft stage we need to publish the product so from the command bar click on publish confirm now the product is published let's go back to our product and family table and from the view selector change the view to all products families and bundles and over here we can see that our product laptop has been created let's create another product let's do the st same steps again go to add product and the name as let's create a wireless mouse And over here let's change it the unit group to default unit and let's select primary unit or each let's go with primary unit save and close now we have created another uh, product that is wireless mouse once that is done uh, we need to publish it so let's open it again and publish now we have published our two products which is laptop and wireless mouse you can do the same steps again and create another product that is HDMI cables. Let's say if we want to create a copy of an existing product, we can use the clone option. So from the command bar, select clone. Confirm. When the product is cloned, the product details are copied to a new product record. The new product record can then be edited as needed to reflect the specific details of that product let's go back similarly if your organization no longer sells a product you can select the retire button on the command bar in this way you can make sure that the product is no longer available for sales staff to use let's click on cancel after a product is published Changes to the product properties can't be made. If changes to the product properties are required, you can select the revise button on the command bar to return the product to draft stage. Now you can see that it is under revision state. Up till now, we have created the unit groups and products. Now let's create product families. Let's go click on families and product and from the command bar select add family. This will open up a quick create form. Let's add only the required fields that is the name and the product ID. Click on save and close. From the view selector, change it to all products, families and bundles. And we can see that a product family named as computer family has been created and it is in draft state. Let's go to the products properties. Here we can define the properties to help distinguish products. Click on the new property button anyways this will open up a new property form 
specify the name let's say laptop property specify whether the user can add in the property i have i will leave it to no specify whether a value must be defined for this property and state whether the property will be hidden to the user when it is consumed i have left it to no for all these three options for each property that's defined a data type must be defined on the properties tab the data type determines the type of data that can be captured for the property we have a list of options available to select from and depending on the type of data that's selected additional options might be available for the property let's select option set and click on save so now you can see a default value field is available for us let's click on this button and click on this new property option set and let's give it a name as high speed change the value to 1 and save and close and save now we have created a product property as well we can follow the same steps and add other products to the product families now let's discuss about adding product bundles let's go over to families and product and from the command bar select add bundle a bundle is a collection of products that are sold as a single unit from within a bundle user can see all the products that are included in the bundle so let's give it a name let's say specify the unit group all unit every unit and then go to the bundle product over here we can add the products that will become the part of this bundle product save sorry this is a required field save and click on new product association Look for a product it is laptop quantity as one and the unit as H save and close now we have added laptop in our bundle product in the same way we can add HDMI and the mouse in the bundle products once that is done publish the bundle and confirm now let's move over to the last component that is price list. So let's go ahead and click on price list. And from the command bar, select new. Fill in the details. Let's see. We can specify the start and end date. Let's click on price list item before that we have to click on save and click on new price list items and we can search for the product say laptop and the unit is each save let's go to the pricing information over here if we click on this field we can see a list of pricing methods available let's select currency amount and specify the amount see 4000 on save and close so we have created our price list which is named as laptop accessories and within that price list we have a price and the item that is laptop and we have specified the price as 4000 in the same way we can add other uh, products to this prices as well that is mouse and um, HDMI cable as well now let's discuss about the 
discount list so go over here and click on discount list then from the command bar click on new if discounts click on new discount let's say we say the begin contribute to two and the end quantity to four let's say if people are buying laptop two laptops or between two to four laptops they will be given a discount of 10 percent save and close now we have created our discount list as well as we are done creating the product catalog we can now create opportunities and see whether the product and the price list is appearing or not so let's go back to sales and select opportunities a new opportunity on save now let's go to products tab from here let's select our price list let the price list that you just created is appearing over here laptop accessories and then add product click on save and add product let's look for the product it is laptop it is appearing and the price unit of 4000 is also appearing Let's click on save and close so now we have created an opportunity with our product that is laptop that was all about the product catalog feature in dynamics 365 sales we have covered everything from setting up unit groups and products and creating bundles price lists and discount lists if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos thank you for watching this video and see you next time